All right, what's up, y'all? Welcome to the Drinks and Discussion Podcast. It's your boy, King Bach, a.k.a. Dad Had Poppy, a.k.a. Bandana Sanchez. I brought Bandana Sanchez back, if y'all didn't notice. <laughs> Yo, we got Miss B back. Hi. Hey. I'm here. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. We, we got a cameraman in the back, and we also have two extra guests with us who are also awesome. Yo, yo. Hey. Oh, that's right, put it. <laughs> yeah, y'all to introduce yourselves. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, well, uh, it's your boy, Primetime Naeem. You know me, you know. Okay. Doing it. All right. Hey, y'all. It's your girl, Zah. The makeup artist. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, she, and she be killing the makeup skills. She be okay. popping up on my little Instagram feed. I'm like, oh, she did that. Ooh. She did that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, you know, Good to know. I try. Good to know. Right. I do, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> how's, I every, how's everybody faring? Everybody's weekend's good? Yeah. Yes, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah, I know. I you know. know. Yeah. You know. <laughs> you know, you know. Yeah. You know, you know. You know. It, it, it's a weekend. You know, yeah, it's a weekend. It's yeah, weekend. yeah. yeah. It's, it's a weekend. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Well, yeah, I mean, it was... like, there's a lot of stuff being unsafe right now. Like, I'm just like, Some stuff weekend. we just, you know, just needs to remain between friends. Oh, okay. You know, I'm I'm alive right now, so I'm I'm, I'm happy about that. Yes, you know? yes, yes, yes. I'm I'm living. Yes, I'm living. life is very important. Yes, life is very important. Especially, sleep is important too. Yes, absolutely. Sleep is important. Sleep too. is um important. Where did you sleep? Oh. Uh, <laughs> 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 Yo, I slept in my car. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh, my God. All right, so let's jump into the riffraff. Ooh, yeah. That was the riffraff. No, it was not the riffraff. No, it was not the riffraff. Definitely. All right. Riff mm. All right, so. I always start off these podcasts the same way. Somebody pointed it out to me. They was like, you be having a lot of conversations with a lot of different women. You know how I start off the podcast. Had a conversation with this young lady. Well, well, well. Had a, had a conversation with this young lady. And um, she was talking to me about uh, what, what somebody else thought about her as far as why they wouldn't date her. So, you know, they gave reasons why uh, she was interested in somebody. Uh, she shot her shot. They shot her down, and they gave a reason why. Because she asked, she was like, "Well, why wouldn't you date me? I think I'm I'm dateable." And then you know they posed the question, "Would you date you? Oh, would you date you? Mm, that's deep. That's deep. Yeah, would you date you? So I mean, that's going to be the 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 consist consistence of the podcast today. Um, so yeah, would would you date you? Let's start it off like that. Let's let's, let's go around. Let's share. I mean. Oh, oh, you you stopped the story short, like so. What? Mm-hmm. Oh no, no, <laughs> so no. They just was like, I wouldn't date you, and then. Oh yeah, but you. I mean, but he gave reasons. Okay. He gave reasons. Were he, they valid reasons? They were valid reasons. Oh. Mm-hmm. They were valid reasons. I want to know them reasons. I, I saw, I saw the message. It was okay. valid reasons. It was valid Ooh. reasons. Did you agree? I I did agree. Ooh. I did agree. Oh, so she gotta go back to the drawing board and work on herself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Self awareness. Sometimes that's what you have to do. I don't know if that's self awareness because he had to tell her about herself. So. But she has to accept. Yeah. Those flaws. Oh. Self awareness. I wouldn't. Nah. Necessarily. I wouldn't say flaws. I wouldn't say flaws. There were reasons why he wouldn't date. Okay. Her. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. There were reasons why he Fair wouldn't enough. date her. That is, you can't. You can't be out here saying people are flawed. You cannot. You cannot. Okay. I take that back. Okay. I take that Thank one you. back. Okay. But yes. That. So. um we're gonna go around. Would you date you and why? Absolutely. And I would just give like me. three strong points. Because I'm me, like duh. Number one. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> let's, let's put some substance in this. Like we we have I to will, put substance. You know I will. You know I will. <laughs> um, I feel like I am dateable because number one, I'm very like nurturing and caring, and I'm very giving. So I'm always like when I'm with someone, they are my priority. Like. Mm. They are one of my priorities. I won't say they are my priority, but they're definitely one of my priorities. And I'm definitely like, um, I'm into doing small things for them. Like, um, just, just seeing, seeing a need and making sure that need is met. 
Right. So whether it be something like small or something bigger, like just just being that meeting those needs. Um, also, as far as um, I'm definitely very supportive. So whatever they're going through or whatever's going on, or even if like they are um, in, entering a venture or anything like that, I'm very supportive. I always have the person I'm with. I always have them back 110. percent mm-hmm. Like whatever, whatever we need to do. And I'm definitely a very strong communicator, and I am one to put everything in the, in the open. I'm very open minded. I'm non judgmental. I'm like let's talk about everything, get everything in the air, and um, that's why I would date me because. Because I love people the way that I want to be loved, okay. so so I'm always gonna I'm always gonna give that 110 percent because that's what I want back. Now going back to the last podcast we had when we did the Instagram live and we were talking about love language. Yes, yes, and and it's it's more than loving someone how you want to be loved. Yes, and you also you have to look into that love language, but also you have to teach people how to love you too. So you can have those love languages, but if you always compromise and allow and just say, okay, since this is your love language, because we talked about that too. Mm-hmm. We talked about how, how somebody someone, touch how, me, please. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about loving somebody, like finding out what their love language is and figuring out how to love them. But it's it's also about how you receive love. Right. So we still you still have to talk about how you give love and how you receive love. It's two love languages. It is. So you have to do you have to do both of them. Yep. So and and what I've learned recently and that I've also been trying to put out for other people because it was something that I didn't really understand is like I just said you have to love people that the way that you want to be loved because if you allow them to love you less then when you start needing other things then it's you can't blame them for not knowing you needed that That's if true. you didn't teach them that's what you needed from them. Yep. Mm. yep. Okay. Oh, that was deep. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. 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 I don't even want to go after that. Like, you know what I'm like, how can I follow follow up with? She, okay, she is potting today. She was yeah. going back strong. Right. She was like, she was like, I had all this quarantine like, time. Yeah, I, got time to think. I had time to come, think about this. Come through with the haymakers. Like, you know? I was saying like, okay, you had some. <laughs> do, you, <laughs> right. like, okay. do you wanna tell your oh. go ahead? No, 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 no. All right, what's well, uh would I date myself? Um hell yeah, absolutely. Oh, oh. Um Isn't I would <laughs> um first off, um the sex would be amazing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yo, I'm 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 done. <laughs> I have uh <laughs> I have great comedic timing. Um, <laughs> I'm just, you know, I'm just a ball of fun, you know. Uh, no, but uh, all right, let me get a little serious. No, I, I absolutely would because one, I, I feel like I'm one of those people that I really, I like, I'm one of those friendly people. Like, I feel like I can really get along with just about anybody really you know what i mean and when i when i look into dating i feel like i could probably make it work with just about anyone it's really just about how does this person make me feel about myself you get what i'm saying so you know the because i pride myself on you know communicating uh efficiently and not you know being aggressive with arguments and stuff like that so like I, I absolutely, absolutely would. Um, I, I wouldn't go through my phone though, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> but I would definitely, I would definitely, yo, I would, I would still date myself. I just probably wouldn't go through my phone and go to my pictures and scroll like three pictures down. No, nah, I'm just. <laughs> but, but, but no, no, I, I would, I would. Honestly speaking, I would, I would date myself. Mm-hmm. Would I date myself? No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, no, no. no but, um, <laughs> would I date myself? I think I will. Um, I would date myself. Um, to a certain extent, though. Like in the beginning of the relationship, I want to date myself because it's like I'm kind of mean. Not like in a mean way. Like it's just like I'm trying to figure <laughs> out. 
I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to figure out, like, I mean, can you handle who it? Sent you? Like, who, you? who sent you? Who sent you? No, for real. Like, who sent you? Yeah, Why it does take a while you? before you decide whether or not you want to be Because I love hard, right? Because I love hard. You just can't, when a person love hard, you just can't let anybody in. You know what I mean? Yeah, mm-hmm. so it's like, I understand that. Uh, and again, I know some dudes be like, who is this girl? Like, this one, I, this one ain't what I expected. But towards the end, they, they change. Like, oh, okay. I figured you out, you know. You know. No, I would date myself, but not in the beginning. Okay. All right. Solid. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I definitely wouldn't date myself. All right. No. Strong. It's good to be honest. Self aware. Self aware. Um, because I know that. I know that, and I actually just recently learned this. I can be like extra clingy. I don't like that. I don't like extra clingy. I like clingy, not extra clingy. But I know me myself. I can be. Clingy is like just the normal shit, like you know, you give but you give time for space. Okay, you, know, you give time for space if you just clingy. If you extra so, clingy, it's like, like so you I'm you, you to the bathroom on Facetime. So you kind of you kind of nah, that's extra extra. Yeah. I thought, uh, okay, so you <laughs> so you kind of you kind of smothering is what you're saying. You, um, you can be yeah, a little I can smothering. Be. I okay, can be. you can be I a can little be. smothering. I learned, okay. I've learned that I can be. Um, and then it's like sometimes mm-hmm. I just want to shut it all the way off. Mm-hmm. And just yeah. be and just be distant because I mean I have my moments where I just want to I just want to be like all right well I want to be by myself for a little bit but you're so used to the person being extra clingy it's like fuck you go like you know like where are you you know so but yeah so you like up and down yeah I can be up and down yeah that's a and perfect way to summarize yeah, it I'm up and down too but you know I'm gonna have to get that same respect if I you know I think what I give out I mean what I give out to people I want you know the people to to me you get what i'm saying like right. i wanted to be equal and i had to learn that too you know mm-hmm. not to be you know but some like sometimes i just be like okay yeah sure we don't hang out dude if i get tired i just be like okay yeah not today yeah uh, yeah it might be like you know we had them days like yeah i mean literally it could be like a monday you know i'm extra clingy and then by that wednesday i'm just like okay well i, I oh, just boy. i need i need my time like i need time right. to Focus on me, or you know, deal with whatever I'm dealing with. You know, yeah, no, that's 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 definitely um, a good way to summarize it, though. All right, so um, <laughs> so in dating, right? Have you guys ever uh, have you guys ever settled, or have you been with somebody knowing that they settled with you? Mm. Ah, aha. Run it back. All right. Uh, <laughs> have, you ever, back. have you ever dated somebody okay. and, and, and it's been like settled? Like, it's like you just settled with them. Like, they might not have been everything you wanted, but they were enough on the list that you'd be like, all right, well, I'll date you, you know? Or have you uh, have you ever been the settled E? Like, have, have, you ever, have you ever, like, dated somebody and felt like they settled by dating you? I, I can tell you right now, definitely no to the second one. Like, I'm one of those people. Well, <laughs> like, 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 not yeah, like, like your confidence, man. Listen, you can't do that listen. with it. For me, you wanted me. Okay, you wanted me. We'll see. It's not settling. <laughs> we'll see. Part of part of the reason is you know, like, I only chase to a certain extent. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, if I get the feeling that you not feeling me, like the way like I want you to be feeling me, then I'm going to just like like I'm like nah, the interest like is lost. Yeah, the interest is lost because I need you to be feeling me the same way I'm feeling you. You know what I mean? If not more, I'm just selfish like that. You know what I mean? So, but yeah, but that's just how I am. I I I got to have someone who's like really into me and if I don't feel that, I mean, I'm going to be hurt. You know what I mean? But I already know I'm like, you know what? I'm going to just back off. You know what I'm saying? So that's so that's just me personally. Ladies, where y'all at with it? <sighs> um, I kind of, I mean, I kind of agree with Lane too. You know, I don't want to be settling with nobody who won't, you know, don't want to settle with me. Like, this just is what it is. Like, right. I don't want to feel that comfort. Mm-hmm. If I don't feel that comfort, it's nothing. I, I just get turned off. Little stuff just turns me off. Like, yeah, and that's one of my things. That's one of my things. Um, in dating, not in relationships, but in dating, I have settled before. 
I have okay. been with people that I've been like, eh, if I had to like really pick you, I wouldn't have picked you. Like, <laughs> I, I, wouldn't have, yeah. I wouldn't have picked you. Yeah. But like sometimes, you know, they get into it and they and they and they're giving you that comfort. They're giving mm-hmm. you that that, you know, I want to be with you kind of vibe. You kind of like, all right, let's see what this look like. Mm-hmm. Because um, one thing that a lot of people have said to me before is you want the guy to be more into you than you are into him. Mm-hmm. Um, people think for some reason that that'll make the relationship work better because um, traditionally the guy is in charge of the relationship. Mm-hmm. So the guy kind of leads how it'll go. So right. if he's more into you, then it's more yeah. likely that things will progress because the guy's in charge. Right, right, right. Of the progression. So I have settled in those type of situations where I'm like, okay, he's way more into me. Let's see how this pans out. Like, let's see where mm-hmm. this goes. Yep. But the whole time, I'm just not into it. Like, I'm not here for it. Like, even though he is giving me all that attention and he's and he's doing all the things that he probably really should be doing, he's still not my type. So he's not catching my and I know that sounds bad. Ooh, no, like, it's no. Like, it's like, it it's makes like nice guys long. finish last. Like, no. we're doing all this for you, and you don't like me, but it's not necessarily <laughs> like, it's not like I don't like your personality or I don't like the things that you do, right. but there's something about us that's not clicking. And I feel like everything needs to have that mental connection. Like, you still have to connect and vibe on a, on a, a, on a mental level. And if you're not, like, it, I can't do anything. Mm-hmm. Like, I can't. I'm just like, right. mm, I mean, you, you nice, I'm, but no, that makes sense though. Yeah. And, uh, and for the guy, he probably feels like he has to do those things to get your attention and, and, and keep you around. So he's, he's going to go extra hard because he probably knows like, I'm probably not her type, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But he's going to do what he can to try to win you over. And uh, sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. Time, I mean, and I have really tried. Like, I'm like, I'm really going to try, but it's like that little, and, and sometimes it really is little, and I hate that it's little, but the whole time I'm like, mm, I can't deal with that. Like, gotcha. I can't deal with that one thing. Like, I I can't. Well, because I, it takes away my attraction. It, yeah, it can. It can. Um, I think I've been on both ends of the spectrum, actually. <laughs> um, all right, so... I guess I guess the more interesting one is who dated you and you felt like they settled. Uh, mm. So I was um, I was dating this young lady. She's a doctor, and at the time, I have no kind of career. Like I wasn't doing. I was, I was working at a dead end job, you know. And in the back of my mind, I was like, Why the hell did she have interest in me? Like what? I feel like she settled. You know. I feel like I feel like it was more so. She liked my personality, but she would never take me serious. Like we were in an actual relationship and I felt like she kept me around just to make her laugh. Like I'm so serious. And it was just like, I'm just somebody to laugh with and have good times with. Like in that relationship, I, I didn't pay for anything. I, I've never paid for it because I didn't have the money. I never paid for a date and she was cool with it. Like I, to this day, she says that she didn't settle with me, but I think that she did. And I feel like that's that's more so your feelings because you felt like you weren't in a place that you needed to be for her. Right. So that doesn't necessarily mean that she felt that way. That means mm. that was your own understanding mm. of yourself. That was the self. That was the value that you put on you. So True. just because you were putting that value on you does not mean that's the value that she put on you. Mm-hmm. And I think when you get in that mindset, like if you felt like, oh, I think she just here, so, she just here, so I can make her laugh. Then you get stuck. There. Mm. You get stuck. So if it didn't work out, it probably it's probably not that the fact that she settled. It's probably the fact that you settled in your mind that this is what mm. she wants. This is all she wants. How much you charging me for this therapy I'm session? I know. Right? <laughs> I know. Because <laughs> straight up, it's all about perspective. And you know what I mean? Oh, so exactly. yeah. When you I, put I yourself it. in that mindset. Yeah. That's when you. That's when you started mentally, mentally changing the 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 relationship. Mm. So you probably started only being like, "I'm just here to make her laugh." So all I'm gonna do is make her laugh, True. and then you stop doing the other things that she liked because you were like, "I'm just here because she want me to make her laugh." That's because mm. you put yourself, you 
made that the mindset of the relationship. So I'm curious. I could have been married to medicine. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Messing up your own right. <laughs> You could have been I in there. Right on that show too. With the with the girl while they drinking while yeah, girl, what happened? What you say? <laughs> right. Exactly. Sabotage yourself, yeah, exactly. man. Hey, man, Self-sabotage. look. But I mean, you know, if it was meant to be, it was, you know, it would have been, you know. Yeah, still, I mean, she's like, yeah, yeah. No, she's married. Oh, uh, <laughs> she oh, oh, it's done now. It's, it's no, no, she's actually she's actually married to a uh he owns like different businesses. I know he owns like a Chick-fil-A and he's like mm. franchising a Wendy's and it's it's a whole bunch of shit that he owns. He cool guy though. Cool mm. guy. Mm-hmm. Him and I actually chat on the regular. I'd be asking him for like little little business advice and shit. No okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. Homie's mm-hmm. cool, man. Homie's cool. All right, so um <sighs> trying to figure out what shenanigans. I, like at this point, we normally stop, but we are still going. We're AJ... Still rolling because we stimulate. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> <AJ, laughs> no, y'all can't y'all can't this see <laughs> y'all can't see the camera <laughs> equipment that's moving right now. It this just looks like a real production. Hey, like we what's really that? Here. What's in that? The studio. Uh, What's that uh, show with uh, Jada Pickett and her daughter? Red uh, Table Talk. Red yeah, table. Red Table Talk. This Black Table Talk. Yay, Special that's Discussions right. Edition. Yes, I like, yo, this, yes, I like. Yeah, it's, 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 it's getting active in here. Um, Let's see. Yeah, really hey, let me ask a question. Let me ask a question okay. real quick. Oh, oh, so, so I want to know, <laughs> do you prefer to be the chaser or the chasey no. in a relationship? Um, I prefer to be the chaser. I don't... I mean, and that goes hand in, they, they both go hand in hand, dog. Uh-huh. Like, you can't, I prefer to be, like, like what V was saying, like, I prefer to be liking the young lady more mm-hmm. than she likes me, like, you know what I'm saying, to, to progress the relationship, mm-hmm. but, yeah, like, it goes hand in hand, like, you can't be, oh, I'm a, I'm just gonna chase her, and she's not gonna chase me, no, you gotta, you know, you gotta, Okay. Give me some feedback. Okay, so there's so I've heard people say that you know what I mean in a relationship it has to be one or the other. Do you believe like that's not the case that it can be that that even you know pull? You know yeah. what I'm saying? I, I think I think a lot of those dating um um I don't even know what to call it. The I would call them like they're not even. They're like pizzas. Like, yeah, right, 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 right. They're like all those, all those dating, all those dating theories mm-hmm. are like dated from back in the day. Gotcha. Back in the day when dating wasn't what it is now. Right. The way our parents dated, we don't date that way. Right. Like they would like like if you look at it, people that's currently in their fifties and sixties now, some of them met their wife or you know or or met a person or met their first wife, you know, cause they might be on marriage mm-hmm. number three, you know, they met their first wife, they talked for a week and then end up getting married. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like it was, it was that quick back then. Yeah. And it was like, you didn't get to learn the person before, you know, you had them move in your house or, you know, y'all built a life together, right, you know? Right. So, I mean, it's different now. Cause we, we screening you, <laughs> we screening you. You yeah. gotta, you gotta, you gotta get past these, these various yeah. testing phases, mm-hmm. yes. <laughs> you know, at we the end of the year, you got an EOG. <laughs> He OG to finish. We walking super slow now. Huh? Yeah, super you know. Slow. Yeah. Quick question. So, people that did go that route, that didn't get to know each other, their relationship lasts a lot longer versus the way we screen. You see, relationships don't make it past ten years. But but it makes a good but point. Ta- it was taboo to get divorced back then. It was taboo to get divorced That's back true. then. They they used That's to true. talk about you. You don't want you go to church and. Mm, that's that pussy that got divorced, you know. You know, you yeah. know. Yeah. No, you had know. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know. You got mm. them gals. Mm. Let's, 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 your heart? Yeah. You know, you know what uh, older ladies be talking yeah. that shit. They be like, mm, but what they doing is that? Mm. I don't know, bro. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. Can't be too safe in these streets. Right. Can't be too safe. Right. Just cover it up. Just yeah, just, just cover it up. Just, <laughs> just cover it up. <laughs> okay but that's that's a but that's a perfect segue so mm-hmm. why are people why are people now looking for relationships looking for relationships instead of looking for love because you see it active now the verbiage people use in their status is oh i'm ready for a relationship or oh, i'm ready for a boyfriend or oh, i'm ready for a girlfriend instead of 
I'm ready for someone to love me. The verbiage, the verbiage itself carries so much weight because like V say, if you in the mindset of relationship, 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 boyfriend, girlfriend, boyfriend, girlfriend, you're never going to get that love. You know, why do you think, why do you think our generation now is, is, is more focused on a relationship than finding love? Because we're a social media Oh generation. my God, I was just about to say that. They like just ended up for the pictures. Yeah. yeah. They just really, you know. Oh, they just, right yeah. yeah mm-hmm. they just really want it because either because they see somebody else mm-hmm. that has it mm-hmm. or they just want something to talk about. Like now I'm in a relationship, yeah. you know, Facebook, let me change my relationship status mm-hmm. in a relationship with such and such. Now we Congrats, got to girl. Like, we got to do stuff. I got a like, <laughs> yeah, like, it's a whole it's a whole production now. So it's yeah. not so you people are in it for the wrong reason. Complete wrong reason. I I, I, I think so a hundred a hundred percent because it's like um it's 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 the it's the aesthetics. It's the visual yeah. aesthetics behind it. Like it's yeah. like if if you if you can't put it on social media, it's not happening in your life. You know, and it's like I hate that it's that way. I hate mm-hmm. I hate social media. I hate it so much, man. It it's it's even changed the way that we approach women mm-hmm. now. Like oh yeah, guys have no talk game anymore. Zero talk game. They're sliding in DMs with like predisposed text. You know, like oh my ball ran in here. While while I'm getting it, what's your name, Shorty? Like, come on, man! Like, I don't know. I kind of like that one. (laughs) (laughs) But think that was kind of cute. Like until it became like a big thing, and now I'm like, oh yeah. Yeah, Well, I mean, everybody's saying it, but I thought that was. Oh my god! Anyway, be different. Don't just come. Don't definitely don't come in there and be like, "Hey, how you doing?" <laughs> I think that some you? dudes, um, some dudes don't know how to approach. I mean, they use it because they don't know how to approach females. Right. Like we we've we've cut off. Right. We've cut off learning how to be social. Right. Like back when me, cameraman, and Naeem was kids, when we go to the movies, we get numbers. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was the thing to get the number. You know what I'm saying? Like, you had to actually go up to the girl with her mean friends beside her because they was going, for you want to talk to my friend for? You like my friend? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Like, you know what I'm saying? He was definitely going to get roasted. He was definitely going to get roasted. Yeah. But you had to know how to maneuver, you know, maneuver through that because it was, it wasn't the girls there, me and Naeem going up to talk to them. No. You go up by yourself like, bro, if you want her number, go get it. You know? And you had to, and you had to get through the, the vetting of the friends and then get to the girl and say something to the girl. And you have like three to five seconds, you know? You gotta give that elevator speech. Yeah, you got three to five <laughs> seconds to get your shit off and get the number, mm-hmm. you know? And, and, we you, already, and we already vetted you before you even walked up. We had already seen you, we saw what you were wearing, what you, how you got there. I know. Yeah. Like, girl, he came on the bus. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I saw him get dropped off outside. Mm. Uh, right off bus number seven. <laughs> mm-hmm. I seen them too. I saw them. I seen them too, girl. Mm. Right off bus number seven. <laughs> All right. So, um, you know the best feeling in the world? The best feeling in the world. <laughs> I know the best feeling in the world. You know the best feeling in the world? Uh, okay. yeah. so, uh, I, so, the best feeling in the world is... <laughs> I, I hate y'all. I hate y'all. With the <laughs> I, I hate y'all. It's not even me. It's not even me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's not even me. No, but the best feeling in the in the world is is like when you talking to somebody, and they say I like you too. Okay. Now, wait. That's the best feeling for a guy. For a guy. Oh, for a guy. Okay. When the girl say I like you too, I'll that's the best that. feeling. Who calling me? That's the best feeling in the world. I don't know you. Um, that's the best feeling in the world. Yeah, I feel that because I mean you don't know if it's going to be reciprocated. You kind of right, you kind of right, put yourself right. out there on the limb a little bit. I think I think it's the reciprocation that. Um, yeah, I think we on the same page. Like, yes, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting. waiting. I'm waiting for it now. But y'all don't y'all don't y'all y'all don't y'all don't y'all don't like the the feeling of reciprocation. Like if you like somebody, knowing know that they I've like you been too. Like, been like, I like you. I like, like you. Too. Okay. Like I just don't. Really? I just don't recall that happening. Like I don't. Right. I, like I feel like, like you, yeah. I feel like y'all it's savages, different. Man. I feel like <laughs> y'all <are> savages. <laughs> I feel like it's different for girls because y'all 
probably aren't saying it first. You know what I'm saying? For the most part, it's the guy who's coming out to you Man. and, you know, dropping the L-bomb on you first. You know what I'm saying? I don't think anybody has. I, I'm really trying to. I'm trying to recall in my remembrance uh, that <laughs> ever happening. And I really just, I'm not sure that. <sighs> hmm. And maybe, maybe I am a savage. Like, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe somebody might. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, we were here with it. Y'all are stupid. Sorry. Yo, it, it, all right, so look, every time we have, every time we, we normally have a female guest, it's always something. Yeah, so, y'all be when we had, uh, what, what, yeah, we yeah, had Corinthia. Yeah, it was some that, give it a shit with some bop in it. Like, I, I wasn't here for it. She was <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Man, he was, he was definitely on shit over there like this. <laughs> Wasn't here for it. Oh shit. <laughs> but um, but yeah, but I have been now that I, now that I've gotten it back. Okay. Um, I feel like that he might have been like, you know what, you know, I'm kind of feeling. I talk to you, and I probably was like, "Oh, really? Period. <laughs> oh, oh, really? really? <laughs> you sure? You sure? Because you probably know me here, but okay. Yeah, it, yes, exactly. Oh I'm, I hate when I'm they click her. up like that. Y'all see, like, y'all see what just happened? <laughs> That's the yeah. scariest thing for a man. <laughs> you put two girls that do not know each other in the same room. They were like, "Yes, girl." Like, oh no, wait. <laughs> oh, hold up. Hold and you up. in the middle of it. I know. I know. <laughs> but, um, no escape. I, I might. Yeah. At that point, I might be like, "Really? Okay. You, you feeling me? So, okay." Have, have, like, I just. I don't yeah. know if I'm ever been like, "I like you too." I so, like, so are you hitting dudes with like the thank you, like oh thank you, like are, are you doing? That's the curve. That's are, the are, are you? Are you? Are no, you curve it's not ever. me. It's really not me. It's really not me. I, it's. I know I'm not gonna say it back, but I'm not necessarily <laughs> going to like. I'm not gonna curve you either because I might be liking you, but I still need to need to vet there you, you and yeah. see if if this is like if you really really interested in me or you just trying to tell me what I want to hear. Okay, so what is your response? I need to know. I just told you what my response is. Oh, really? That's okay. Oh, my God. That's Okay, are you sure? That's what you, okay. You sure okay. you want the problem? I, I, right. I, I, I probably go cry in the car after that. Like, I, yeah, I don't. I don't yeah, I don't come with the I like you too. Like, I might like later on, like after we become established, I'm like, you know what? I really like you. Like, oh my god. Then I, but in the, in the beginning, like we just dating, and I don't know what your intentions are, okay. or where you plan to go with it. You like me? That's cute. Well, that's, that's that's true. That's true. That's true. I I think during the dating phases, you shouldn't say certain things. Like, you shouldn't say that. I you love like you. To... Hell no. What? <laughs> what? She I, went there. She I, went there. I just said like. I didn't no, no, think no, no, about it. No, no, no. When you say, um, you, you shouldn't say certain things like, some people be like, I love you. I be like, hmm. Yeah, real quick. Or they be trying to, or they should be trying to give you nicknames or trying to call you bae or something. Bae, like, friend. Yeah, I, I mean, be like. I'm sorry, yeah. I love you too. Outside of relatives and stuff like, like, no, family. nobody. 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 Not because love is very strong. Everybody uses love like it's simple. You know, that's a strong word. You know, if I love you, I love you, but I'm, I mean, I'm a distance. <laughs> Lover. Can you count your hand? I mean, I mean, all right. Uh, uh, somebody. Let's do that. I, th- I mean, I, I've said it before, but I do try, I do try and differentiate like loving you and being in love with you. Because it's yeah. different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, right. Right. it's different. Yeah, it's, it's because I, I can still care for you. I can still, you know, I wish no harm on you. I really, I, I think you're a great person. I enjoy you as a person. Am I in love with you? Do I see this leveling up to something? Do I see me being here for the long term? Do I see us together forever? Or, you know, eh. But do I care for you? Yes. And honestly, I learned that the hard way in a full fledged relationship, not mm. in a dating situation. But I was with somebody and I thought that's where it was going. Like, I was like, I think I'm, you know, I think I'm falling in love. And he was like, no, I think you love me, but I don't think you're in love with me. Right. And like, he, he kind of, he kind of shut me down. I was like, oh, snap. Like, <laughs> I would have loved might, to be a fly on the wall you for that might one. be right on that. And 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 I still have love for that person, mm-hmm. but 
but I don't know if I could say that at any point I was necessarily like in love with. I mean, you, I mean, you're just hitting it like, I mean, hey, I'm just like over yeah. here, like, no, oh my god, god I was in it. love with him, <laughs> and you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you just hitting it on the head, like. Ooh. That's tough though, you're like yeah. falling in love with somebody. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I've I've told somebody like I love them, but I wasn't like in love with them, but yeah. I did love them. Like exactly. I love the person you are. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Who you are? What is that? What does that feel like? Well, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, God. I don't know that it's necessarily a... I don't, I don't know if you can kind of pinpoint that feeling because it can be different in different situations, like mm-hmm. with, different, with different people, different relationships. It can look different. I think we all know what lust looks like. Oh, yeah. Like, we all know how to yeah. lust mm-hmm. after somebody. You can somebody. open up the door and see lust. Yeah. <laughs> you can open up the door and see lust. But I, think, but I think that's something that people get so, people get confused where lust ends and where love begins. Mm. And so everybody is so, <laughs> everybody's so, so, like, jumping on the fact that, okay, I'm in love with this person, but they not, they're not realizing that I'm just lusting after them. Why, why, why? And I think one thing you got to differentiate is love and infatuation. Ooh. You know what I mean? Mm. So that's 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 one thing. So sometimes you're just infatuated with a person, the aura of a person. And then, you know, you're like, oh, I love them. But like, do you really why? like know the deep inside yeah. them as a, as, yeah. you know what I mean? This, 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 yeah, this yeah. Shit needs to be on camera. I mean, but it's serious though, man. And, and, yeah. and with dealing with, you know, paying attention to what you say in a relationship, I think, I think it really falls heavily on the guy because if you talking that shit, women fall in love like behind the ears. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. If you if you talking that shit, you know, and you got actions that match, and she can she can compare the two. You know, she. Yeah. If you if you got the the consistency, mm-hmm. you got the the wording right. It's like, and and another we start to fall in love with potential. We mm. don't necessarily fall mm. in love with the actions. But we fall in love, or in, or we get infatuated mm-hmm. with with the potential. Yeah. So if somebody comes through and they're like, you know what, I can do this and this and this and this for you, and you and you start thinking like you put yourself like, okay, and if I'm with this person, they can do all of this for me. Like, where can we be in two or three years? Like, where can I? How how does that elevate me? How does that elevate us? Right. So he's not necessarily doing any of these things, but he's saying, you know, I can do all these things. And we as women definitely think in the future. Okay. So when we see so when, talking about buying me a house, I'm like, okay, now what are we talking about? Now we looking about? like, okay, we, we we definitely think future. And mm-hmm. I think that definitely um that that brings us down a little bit it because does. we we get so in the future. And guys know that and they play on that and they give that potential and they put all that future out there and they don't do nothing today. They're not doing anything today. They're not doing right. They're not doing anything in this moment, but they're telling you all this future stuff that looks good. So you still going to sit here because you like, all right, he ain't got to do it today. But he said in the next two or three years, we was. Yes. Oh, my God. God. He and this is three years in which she yeah. here. And, and, right. And no, you no. still and you and you still looking you still looking crazy because yeah. you have fallen for this what he's saying. This yeah, you you fell for this the words. Right. You fell for the words. And he hasn't done anything to show you any any actions behind it. But when we come to y'all and be like, Where are the actions? I ain't say I was gonna do it today. Well, you shouldn't even listen to that. Oh well, run that turbo. Yeah, right, right. Run that they, turbo. They, they, they start, <laughs> start switching up. They start switching up, and yeah. it's just like that's that's. I know that's something that I had to learn. Is like you can't look at that future. Like even though the future that's beautiful, that picture they painted over there, that is nice. But don't look over there yet, cause we ain't got there yet. Mm-hmm. We need to look at where we at right now. Yeah. Cause we can't get there. Yeah, focus on the bridge you're crossing first. Exactly. Mm-hmm. We can't get there till we till we figure all this out. Mm-hmm. I always That's say, yes, if you wanna if you wanna build with somebody, you gotta build a foundation. 
Mm-hmm. And if you don't have no, no a solid foundation, you got cracks in, in foundation, or you missing some nails and screws and stuff, then we ain't building nothing on top of this. We need. You to go been back. watching HGTV since you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need to go back. We need Talking to go about flipping houses now, ain't you? Right, <laughs> 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 you can get your sheetrock ain't right. Your sheetrock well, ain't just, right. You know what? This is after that, I'm just gonna add an attitude. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what you say, nigga? <laughs> No, okay, what you doing now? Right. <laughs> Every time she go to that goddamn podcast. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, you, oh, go no. you can't go to that podcast no more. I'm starting the business. What you doing? I'm making A. <laughs> Eggs for people that appreciate it. Exactly. Getting paid to make eggs. <laughs> Podcast and Keisha Cole every single time. Yeah. Every single time. <laughs> All right. That should be a playlist, dog. Yeah. I hate nigga tunes. Yeah, that should be a playlist. I, 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 I hate nigga tunes. I play it and then be a dance to it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! So well, I, mean, uh, mm. I don't even know where to go from here. <laughs> it was getting deep, man. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was getting deep, man. Oh, oh, what are you gonna say, AJ? Okay. Um. So I noticed that because we're gonna reel it back because we didn't jump down the rabbit hole a lot. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, but I'm gonna reel it back. Way. Um, I noticed bad. that a lot of people, you know, now are dating out of convenience. They're not dating out of I don't even want to say necessity. It's just like convenient. Like, oh, I feel like having a boyfriend today. Or I feel like having a girlfriend today. What is what? I, what is your take on it? Like, you tell me how you guys feel about that. It's wrong. It's wrong? Yeah, it's like you're in it for the wrong reasons. Like, since you on the end of, I mean, if it's convenient for you. Oh, he got a car. He can take me to work. And I don't care if he cheat. Mm. Yeah. She got, yeah. she got a car. She go to work. I could drop her off and use her car all day too cheap. Trap booming. <laughs> With a pink steering wheel. Trap booming. Though. Right. <laughs> Niggas be having that fucking fluffy steering wheel. I was like, yeah, that's, that's girl shit. <laughs> that's 25 and below. That's the age bracket, bro. Like, you see a lot of young niggas doing that. Right? No, it's a lot of older niggas doing it too. Yeah, a niggas lot of our age doing that shit. Doing but but yo, <laughs> it, it's wild. Some chicks don't even care. Some chicks don't even care. Because they, they want them, you know, especially the type of dude are they popping out here like mm, I got him anyway. No, you're not you're selling like the best, like right. you know. It's not good. Right. It's a trophy shit for women. Like the little chicks, they like the niggas going with. But with no car? Nigga, we got money. <laughs> if you got money, if you got money, you should get a car. <laughs> Buy a car with the money. They priority is not in order. Yeah. His shoe game good. Yeah, his shoe mm-hmm. game is like that shit. Well, he need to be walking. Don't drive my car. You <laughs> got the nice shoes. These Jays is made for walking. Girls cars. <laughs> <laughs> he dropped one baby mama over here. Pick the other one up. Like that's some hood shit. Right? Yeah, I, I mean, I've, I've shit, heard conversations shit, like you know the girls like you know I got to make sure. He do such and such for for this baby mama, so we can go out of town this day. Like what? Like what? Are you fucking kidding me? Like these are your goals, ma'am? Like nah, I can't. I can't even be your friend at this yeah. point. Like you just, you just, whatever energy you got going on, I don't want to. I don't want to get it mixed up with all this good energy over here. Like I can't do it. Mm-mm. But yeah, that's wild, man. I just, just the way people think now, it's crazy. What's the wildest thing y'all ever witnessed or been a part of, like with dating? Mm-hmm. Uh, what? I'm head out. No. <laughs> what? Hey, no, 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 keep it a hundred. Ain't nobody going nowhere. What's up? Talk to me. You said the wildest thing. The wildest so thing. PG, oh man. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I think I'm okay. You gonna pass on that I think one? I'm okay. It don't, it don't have to happen to you. It could have happened to somebody else. Like, mm. that's my way of saying decoded. If it happened to you, <laughs> I heard it. No, I heard it. I was like, so a friend. So a friend. <laughs> no stories about me. Right. <laughs> so a friend. 
Mm. So we not we're not gonna touch that one. That one's taboo. Ooh, there's uh, a lot. I, I don't know where to start. I'm just thinking of like, like should I tell these stories or not? <laughs> no, like, no, you know no, what I mean? Get your like, shit off, man. I don't know where uh, to start. God, you know what I mean? I mean, yeah. I mean, get your shit off, man. There was that one time when uh, my friend had took this girl to Denny's, and um, <laughs> his baby mother had showed up at the Denny's. <laughs> While he was yeah. on a date, <laughs> and uh, oh, he's on the floor, y'all. The baby mother went live on Facebook oh. and tried to fight the girl. Um, yeah, I felt bad for that guy. It was it was, <laughs> it was some crazy some crazy mess. Um, yeah, he had to he had to get a, to delete the video as soon as possible. You know, before it went viral. But oh. yeah, that that happened. Mm. You know, so your straight face is killing me. That, um, <laughs> You're just like, mm, wow. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. You you want me to go? Give you, give you some more time. Yeah, yeah. Give me some time. Give me I some think time. I think the wildest thing I've probably ever witnessed was uh was a uh, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. This guy. Uh. He caught, it was definitely not me because I've never been married, but this guy caught his wife cheating and put it all on social media, like the whole occurrence of what happened. Like he was on live and walked up to the car and was like, oh, you sucking this nigga dick? And she was like sucking the nigga dick in the car. Like it was just wild. And he's popping. Like he has a couple of million followers. Like he's popping. And it's like, wow. Like, you know, it, it, it and what made it so bad, like when you started getting the backstory, because you know everybody in the comments, they got the backstory, you know, but you started piecing together the backstory. The dude that she was with was a nigga's homeboy. I was like, bro, this shit is fucking wild. Why would you, if you go cheat, why would you cheat with the nigga homeboy? Like, but that's well, fucking wild. That. That, that's they fucking wild to me. Right, right. I, I understand that. Retarded. Hey, that, that thing went off. Okay, all right, cool. I just let you know the thing went off. Okay, all right, all right, all right. But, but yeah, man, like, I mean, that shit is just fucking wild to me. You you reminded me of a story. That happened to me. This happened to me. All right. You caught Shorty giving head? No, 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 Thank God nothing like that ever happened to me. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you. So I went on a date with this girl. You know this girl. I hope she's not watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, so I went on this date with this girl. This is the first time us kicking it, right? We good? We good? Mm-hmm. All right, cool. All right. It's the first time us kicking it. We, we kicking it at our crib, you know. Um, so we chilling. We vibing. Blah, blah, blah. Next thing you know, there's not going to do. Dude comes in and yeah, well, first he was trying he was trying to get in, but like she wasn't letting him in, and I'm just chilling on the couch, like whatever. And so then he kind of like pushes his way through the door and he's like, Oh, so you the new nigga, huh? Oh, you you hearing it now? How's the pussy, bro? How is it, bro? Is it good? Is it wow. good? <laughs> and I'm sitting on the couch, like, uh, bro, like we we just like this is like we just we just started kicking it. Like, what are you what are you talking about, right? So then he uh he proceeds to walk out the door, and like right before like he like steps out the door, smacks the shit out of old girl, and walks and just walks out. And so then I'm like, oh shit, like now I gotta fight a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, I, mean, I, I mean, you were told right, that this boy. Right. Like, I don't even, I don't even really like know this girl like that. So, like, now I'm, I'm getting up out the couch, like, yo, what, what the deal is? But then, <laughs> thankfully, she stopped me from like going out the door. She was like, nah, forget about it. Cause honestly, I did not want to fight the dude. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. I mean, if he's slapping the shit out of chicks and then walking no. away, it's like, yeah, that nigga ain't right in the head. Like, cause he was like, boom, and then walked out. I was like, dang, you know what I mean? Like, like, yeah, I was like, oh. like I, I grabbed my face. I was like, oh shit. Wow. <laughs> so you know, in my head, like I'm like, dang, like that must have hurt. Like you know what I mean? Like. 
Yeah, for I me, I, I didn't want to get up, but you know, because in my head, like, yo, you just got smacked. Like, I don't, <laughs> like that's y'all business. I don't know what y'all got going on, but I had to get up so I could look like a man. You know what I'm saying? And so I was like, all right, let me go, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, luckily she stopped me and like that was that. But like, <sighs> like, ladies, like, make sure your situation is done before you invite the next nigga over. Like, because, yeah. Uh, yeah, that was some ish. I was like, dude, I barely even know this girl. And now I'm about to fight a dude. Like, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I'll protect your honor, but, like, girl, like. I did, I did yeah. jump out a window one time. <laughs> I didn't jump out a window one time. What? Yeah, that was a big ass nigga, dog. <laughs> he, was like, he was like, nah. He was like, nah. We did this. Yeah, like, you know, if, if the nigga was, you know, was a little smaller, I probably would have, you know, probably still got my ass whooped, but I, I, I'd have took that ass whooped. That's a big ass nigga, yo. You the nigga like, bicep was my size. Like, you, you was like, I was that nigga's bicep. <laughs> I don't know why she was fucking with me. <laughs> so what was it? What, what, what was it? What was it? Like her ex boyfriend or was her actual boyfriend or something? No, it was her ex, but like her her recent ex. ex. Like Oh okay. Yeah, she just broke up so, with a nigga. So like, you right was like you was like you was like, where the nigga at? Oh nah, you know what? I'm a uh, uh <laughs> I mean, like, the nigga was in the living room. Right, right. I was in the bedroom. I jumped out that fucking window. That nigga chased me probably like two or three blocks, yo. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It, it must have been. I didn't get to try it. It must have been good, yeah. though. Determined. I was yeah. about to. Uh, I was about to. I was trying, but he interrupted. You yeah. know? He, came at, <laughs> he came at the precise moment. You know, She put on her robe and she didn't go to the door. I'm like, fuck. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was knocking hard as shit. I thought he, he put his fist voice. through the door. Huh? Yeah. No, he had a he had a squeaky voice. That's why I thought I could take yeah, him at first. <laughs> That's why I thought I could take him at first. Hey, <laughs> nigga, sound like Mike Tyson. Hey, AJ, AJ. <laughs> AJ. That's when Bach pulled this move. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I didn't do that. I did this. I had the covers on. I said like, he had the covers. <laughs> I was like, bro, I'm not trying to die today. I peeped my head out that door. I seen that big ass nigga. I said, not today. (laughs) Not today. I don't know who y'all be messing with. They have these types of things. I don't have these problems. She's the shrimmer gang niggas, bitch. She had no type. She's like a big, small, skinny. I do got a friend. I hope you're not friends with her. Okay. Um, anyway, so she was messing. You know, she called a boyfriend cheating or whatever. And who she called him cheating with was somebody who she, who she been having a feeling about, like a gut feeling, but she could never like nail it. Nail it. Mm-hmm. So she was like, I said, I'm on the phone with her. So I'm like, she's like, yeah, girl, I'm following these um, dumb mother. I'm like, okay, who you following? She was like, my soon to be ex. So I'm like, oh, okay, you know, you're, it's your friend. So you're like, girl, right. okay. All I hear someone say, boom. She was like, yeah, I ran them bitches in the ditch. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Who I said, wait. Your group chat is up. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 There's some criminal evidence in her group right. chat. So I was like, oh, she lying. FaceTime. I said, and y'all, she really ran them to the ditch. He got out like, you crazy. You just crazy. She's like, no, you crazy. You crazy. Right? Yeah. Right? He crazy if he was messing with if, if, yeah. if he was messing up. She was crazy. Yeah, he crazy. The girl did not get out of the car. You know, I, I wouldn't have got out of the car. No. Nah. Red man to a damn ditch. Oh, right. listen, listen, I'd be pat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it hurt. Right. <laughs> right. Right, right, right. Yeah, and I, oh, yeah, that's, that was crazy. I was like, please get back in the car. She, it's like, she was not, it's like, you know how you tired? So she was like, yeah. Yeah, like you know, I be nervous. She, yeah, she crazy. I ain't know she was gonna do it. No, she in the car. She Pisces. Mmm. Pisces crazy though. Mmm. Pisces. Mmm. You know, you know about. I know about Pisces. I know about Pisces. Mmm. I know about Pisces. Mm. I'll tell you who the Pisces is later. All right, so, uh, <laughs> All right, y'all. All hearts and minds clear. I think so. I think I, I think I've gave, given y'all all I had today. What did you learn today? What did I learn? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Y'all got some, some 
situations. <laughs> y'all, the guys are going through. I don't know what's going on. I like, I don't know who y'all are talking to to be going through the way that y'all do. But that's why I have you vet them now. Y'all, y'all, they got, they got to pass, they got to pass. Miss y'all B. be going through because I'm like, I have never had any of those situations happen to me. <laughs> so I'm just not. I'm, y'all be going through. I'm telling, I'm, I think, I think every guy needs a V in their life. That's what it's just, and, I, and I say that to say this. Because yeah, no, every sure. guy needs a V in their life. Because because V knows off gate. Like, mm, it ain't gonna work. <laughs> the Bobby Pin Bandit, mm, it ain't gonna work. Mm-hmm. Oh. And you didn't listen though. You didn't listen. You I had did. to see for yourself. I had to see for myself, but now I know. Now I, I know. Already told you. Now I know. Now I know. And I thank you. <laughs> No, thank you, because I could have made some terrible life decisions. Yeah, you, you, you still did. <laughs> it, it's nothing that affected me in the long run. It did. That's good. It did. So, That's good. Yeah. What did you learn, Naeem? Oh, man. Uh, v over here just dropping all kind of, like, <laughs> dimes. And, you know, I, I'm doing a lot of self-reflection after this. That's for sure. You know what I mean? Uh, so, you know, it, it was insightful. It was okay. insightful. Yeah, for sure. Nah, what you, what you learned today? Tell y'all what I'm gonna do when I leave. <laughs> I already got the text in my head. <laughs> Yo, Lord of mercy. I don't I'm feel in your with my nigga. Your poor, your poor guy. <laughs> your poor guy. Yep, new me. <laughs> new me. Okay, so I'm gonna do a lot. I'm gonna learn a lot. Um, I'm gonna learn how to like you, you're amazing. Like, like what? <laughs> Cameraman is hype because he is back. I think my girlfriend gonna be like, yeah. Who is that? I'm like, um, <laughs> nah. Nah. I'm like, what? I'm like, you know, I'm gonna be the man. Absolutely. Absolutely. All I gotta do is call Bill and what? Yeah. Oh yeah. Period. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna learn a lot. Yeah. 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 Okay. What did right. you learn today? What did I learn today? Grab the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, today I learned that V is gonna be my new therapist. I'm firing. <laughs> I'm firing the lady that that's, that, that I'm currently. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. I love my therapist though. But no, um, no. Seriously, today I mean I learned a lot, man. I learned, um, you know, yeah, I, I, I knew that, <laughs> but um, being um, uh, uh, uh what you say earlier, V you said uh, mindset, 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 the mindset, not having that. Place of mindset going into a situation. Mm-hmm. Got I got to start rethinking some things. Got some phone calls to make, so you know, mm-hmm. start rethinking some things. But yeah, what you learn? What you learn, AJ? Yeah, lust and love me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah well, lust and love me. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, yeah. absolutely, hey. absolutely. Yeah, that conversation got deep. Yeah. It did get deep. It did get deep. Yeah. All right, well, um, time for us to get out of here. Hope y'all enjoyed the podcast today. Uh, it's your boy King Bach, A V N G B A K on Instagram, um, TikTok, Twitter. Um, make sure you follow the podcast at D and D Pod on Instagram. Drinks is, drinks and discussion podcast on Facebook and YouTube. Um, we started back dropping the videos since I had time during the quarantine to edit. Videos are dropping frequently. So, you know, if you need to catch up on podcasts, why not see our beautiful faces and catch up there? Yeah. <laughs> we was ready. Yeah. It was, we were, commercial. It was a commercial. Bro, this, you can't teach this. <laughs> this cohesiveness right here, you can't teach this. I, I missed out in 30 weeks. <laughs> <laughs> you been here 30 weeks. <laughs> you can't be going that damn long. Man. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. Uh, Miss V is here, podcast queen. Um, I am on social media at Miss V underscore DND. I am on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. Um, that's about it right now. We'll, we'll leave it at that. That's, I have that, a that, TikTok, but I haven't done anything. But now that my hair is trying to act right, we might. might <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Yeah. But. I am on there, so if y'all want to follow and just see what happens there, it's the same thing. Miss B underscore D N D. All right, uh, you can follow me on IG at primetime underscore Naeem. 
You can also check out my YouTube channel. It's Agree to Disagree. That's the number two, Agree to Disagree. Nice. And you can follow me at My Eternal Look on IG, and I have a YouTube channel. And yeah, I can tell you. I'm, I haven't put no videos up there because I got some. <laughs> New products coming, you know, stay tuned, but... It's coming, okay. Look, it's coming. All right. Facts, facts, right. 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 yeah. Support, so, look, support black businesses, man. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, all right. Well, we out of here.